Tony D and Little Joan with a screenwriter's rant on The Harbinger, a supernatural horror film, kind of like The Omen, except with a little girl. Smash like and subscribe. Thank you for smash liking and subscribing. Thanks for buying my books. I made some sales the last couple of days. Joan got her treat and Holly Woke Hot Take, which you can see on Odyssey, Bitchute, and Rumble. Now, uh, so Creepy Little Girl uh, exhibits all the, uh, you know, telltale signs of being a total psychopath and animals start dying, strange things start happening, um, and then it turns out she's possessed by the devil or that the devil needs her dead or if she stays alive, she'll bring about the end of times and the harbinger is... Uh, this father has to make a decision whether or not to kill his daughter. And then there's all sorts of... <laughs> Look at this guy. Oh. <laughs> He's sort of like uh, Low Rent Max von Sydow, isn't he? You know, without the mustache. Um, and then you actually see the devil, which is different. That's kind of cool. I thought that was kind of cool in the trailer. A lot of times you don't see the devil. You don't see guys in costume either. Like, man, look, watch. He comes storming out. Ah, I'm the devil. I'm doing bad things. Um, only death can save her. So it's a weird movie. This guy looks possessed too. Um, in theaters and on demand, September 2nd. What theater is going to show this, I wonder? Because ultimately it's, it's kind of a depressing movie. Because, like, if the only way to save the little girl is the killer, I mean, you can't do that in a movie. I don't think. Nah. There's got to be something else. There's got to be something else, like somebody else takes the devil into themselves and then, like, dies with the devil in them or something. Something like that. Something like that. Although, maybe they're trying to do a movie where they portray some child as being so un irredeemably evil you could kill the child I, I maybe that's what they're going for i'll tell you the devil looks scary he looks scary um they used to make a lot of these movies back in the day and uh this would have been late 70s early 80s and uh, like the omen uh the exorcist got big when did that come out late 70s i think rosemary's baby was another one. Um, they tended to hit because people were still kind of religious. The Exorcist, the first Exorcist, amazing movie. Amazing. Got to see it. Um, but then, you know, Hollywood glommed onto that trend and rode that rode that pony right into the ditch. Um, some of the movies were okay after that, but really after The Exorcist, I mean, it's a, it's a scary, scary movie, I think. And a good movie. Like, it's not just a scary movie. It's a good movie. A lot of these movies, they just, I think, use the trappings of, oh, Satan and possession and demonic stuff. But it's kind of lost its punch because people aren't religious anymore. Right? So, if you're not religious, then do you believe in this stuff? And if you don't at least have some belief in it, is it going to resonate with you? I say... Probably not, but, you know, it's still a horror movie, which tends to be good. It'll resonate, I think, with other cultures around the world. And again, if you want to make a movie, a low-budget movie, this seems pretty low-budget, you want to go for horror, action, or TNA, because they translate well. So this could translate very well. Let's see. See, uh, when a family moves their troubled daughter to a small town and their neighbors start mysteriously dying, they fear something evil is haunting them. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. Daniel and Teresa Snyder move their, this is a longer synopsis, move their troubled daughter Rosalie to a quaint Midwestern town. Don't look really Midwestern, but okay. Soon after they arrive, neighbors begin to die. The townspeople suspect Rosalie and shun the Snyder family. Fearing something evil followed them, the tormented parents seek the advice of a detective? Okay, starts... Oh, uh, no, sorry, I read that wrong. Uh, the tormented parents seek the advice of a Native American seer who tells them that only death can save Rosalie. 
When more people die and a detective starts looking into the mysterious deaths, the Snyders must do whatever it takes to protect their family. Well, I mean, as long as it doesn't end with her death, I think this movie could work. You know, I mean, the parents can't kill their own daughter. That would be a... No. That would be... It would be too much for people. Too much. I had a friend, and I think I've told this story before. He um, he was a huge horror buff, but he cannot stomach anything with children in danger anymore since he had kids. So it's a big downer. Big downer. No one wants to see that. I don't want to see that. I don't have kids, and I don't want to see it. So, you know... You, you, what you want to see from a horror movie is you want to be scared, but you also want the elements of the movie. And the elements of the movie you don't want to necessarily end on a downer. You know, when it's a family involved, you want to see them survive. It's different if you have, you know, a bunch of criminals holed up in a warehouse and they're being attacked by zombies. They could all die. They're all criminals. Maybe they don't deserve to live, whatever. And it's kind of, you know, a last man to the battle kind of thing. But this, no, you'd want to see, you'd want to see the family somehow save the little girl, or survive. Uh, maybe they're trying to do a franchise. The Omen was franchised, and it was about the Antichrist, Damien, and you know he was a little kid, and nobody could kill him, and uh, he, you know. Then they moved on to The Omen 2. The Omen, I, I didn't see I, I think I saw part of the first one. It was a pretty scary movie. It was pretty scary. It had a scene where where a big like pole or cross falls off a church and like stabs a guy. Pretty intense. Um, this, eh, I mean, with the guy in the costume, that could go either way. By the time you get to that, unless you set it up right, man, people will be laughing. And they, you don't want that in a horror movie. Ooh, 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 ooh. You don't want people laughing. So, uh, first act, they move to the town. Um, she's got, the girl has problems. And uh, she continues to have problems. The townspeople start accusing the family. At first they embrace her, but then the townspeople start accusing the family. People start dying or getting hurt. Uh, if they go right to dying, that would be too much. It would sort of ramp up to dying, but... Um, and, I mean, they got the little girl talking about, The Dark Lord is coming. <laughs> it's pretty, pretty creepy. So, um, eventually they go to the Native American seer. I don't know why they would go to her, but okay. Some kind of... Uh, mystical person. Normally they'd go to a priest in a movie like this, but whatever. So she tells him, uh, you gotta kill the, the your kid in order to stop the harbinger of doom from coming and killing everybody. Yeah, I don't think that's gonna happen. If I had to guess, I'd say the father sacrifices himself to save the kid. Be my guess. I like the set. It looks co kind of cool. It's got a, got a very stark look to it. Um... That would be my guess. Worse, I think she survives. Either way, I think the uh, kid survives. I don't think they kill her. They might try to. Um, or, you know, you might get the thing where the building collapses on her. Because if they're going to do a franchise and everybody's thinking about franchises and a sequel, you'd want the kid to survive somehow. So. Uh, would I see it? Mm, eh, maybe. I don't know. I wouldn't go out of my way to see it. I mean, I guess if it was Halloween time and my friends were going, I'd go. I, I, I tend not to, I'm, I tended to only go to these movies under those circumstances back in the day. These days, I'm, I'm pretty fussy with my movies, as you can probably tell from my analysis. So I don't know. Maybe if I was in the mood for something that to me looks pretty schlocky. So, um,. But, you know, it'll look bad. I think it'll be an okay horror movie. I think it'll be all right. Probably good for some scares. And uh, uh, for me, in a more nostalgic way, because I'll be thinking of The Omen and The Exorcist. But, eh. A little bit of the phanta phantasm in there, too. The, this kind of look was in Phantasm. Another, another horror classic. Anyhow, that's it for me, Tony D, and Little Joan. Check us out on Odyssey, BitChute, and Rumble for our more base takes. And we'll see you in the next one.